everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing a monthly plan with me. I'm super excited for this one. We're going to be doing a love theme. I'm really liking this one obviously because we're using pink and red. So before we get started, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I make new videos. Let's get started. So this month is Black History Month. I'm super excited about it. And I'm wondering if I should talk about or read about different black people and the things that they've accomplished and, you know, throughout the years. It doesn't have to be something from a long time ago in history. It could be right now, like this year, last year. Um, I'm wondering if I should talk about that in my Instagram stories or something like that. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see in my Instagram stories regarding Black History Month. Also, for this month, I have a super cute sticker kit and it comes with stickers that are themed for Valentine's. It has love, hearts, beautiful fonts, and also I have these date dots, which we're gonna use right now. So all of these date dots are pre-cropped and ready to go. So I just copied it from my sticker sheet and I'm just moving them using the lasso tool. So when I'm using date dots, what I like to do is resize all of the dots together just to make sure that everything is even, one is not bigger than the other. And then what I do, as you can see I'm doing here, I separate them by one row and then I'll use the lasso tool to bring it over to that space that I want it to cover. In this sticker kit, I have 31 days just in case you want to use it for another month. So it doesn't just have to be for the love month, you can use it for any month that you'd like. Perfect! Now that all our date dots are in, I'm just going to go a little bit closer and make sure that everything is exactly the way I want it to look. So now I'm going to be marking off the days that I have off and the vacation days that I have for this month. So I'm going to use a pink color in the highlighter tool and I'm going to make a square. So my square is really wiggly, extremely wiggly. So just keep holding on until it creates a perfect shape. Then you just use your finger to tap on it and use those little blue dots to really make sure the square is exactly the size that it should be to fit your square. Now I'm just going to copy that same rectangle that we made and paste it. That way we can use those blue dots once again and resize it. Just tap the square and use those blue dots to stretch the square. Super easy. So now I'm going back into my sticker kit and into my sticker book to place some super cute stickers for this month. Now if you haven't got my sticker book already, I do have a video on the flip through and it even has a few things for February as well. So if you didn't get the Valentine's Day sticker but you have the sticker book, you do have a few options that say love and like little hearts and stuff like that to really decorate your planner or notebooks. So in my sticker book, I grabbed these two little sticky notes and I'm going to write day off and also my vacation days. I'm so excited to have some days off. I need it. I realized that when I'm doing my monthlies, I like to use my keyboard because sometimes I have a lot of things to write down and I don't want to actually write them with my hand. I like to just type them out really quickly and I can write the dates down really quickly. I just have to say, this Jellycomb keyboard is essential. And please, someone, send help. Why am I always slanting everything? Why do I feel like that's okay? But anyway, if you do like this, all you have to do is lasso your text, tap on it, and click on resize. That's going to allow you to slant your text <laughs> if you like to do that too. 
So now I'm going back into my sticker sheet and grabbing some decorative elements. So this happens to me a lot. I ended up having this gold glittery photo. I probably got it from Pinterest and I was using it, but then I was like, I don't like this. I need red. So basically I placed everything and then deleted it and then added red glitter instead. <laughs> so you'll see that change a little bit later in the video, how the glitter just changes colors magically. So now I'm going to change the font of my February to a more cute font. So this is a tip I like to use. If you have a planner that has a gradient like mine does to make it look more realistic, what you want to do is select that entire area across horizontally. Then that way when you take a screenshot to cover the old font, it looks better. So that's what I'm doing here and now I'm just covering over the old font to add a new font. love this font it's called love struck please find it and download it immediately let's grab some more stickers So right here, I'm just typing a cute little quote to top off February. As I said before, my sticker book and my sticker kit have beautiful stickers for this month. So you will definitely enjoy all the options. I absolutely love the sticker that says you are loved and it's a note from Jesus. I just think it's so cute. So of course I have to write Valentine's Day on the 14th. So I'm just using that same font that I used for February, making sure that it's centered and looks perfectly in that little box. All right, so here's where I was looking at the planner and I wasn't liking that gold glitter. So I'm just gonna go into Pinterest and type in red glitter literally just type in red glitter and you'll see a whole bunch of options so I'm just looking at the best one the one that I really like and I'm just going to save that in my um, photos but also I've saved it in my wallpapers as you can see so if you guys do not follow me on Pinterest what are you waiting for so definitely follow me on there you'll see beautiful wallpapers that you can use as washi tape in your planner I love making glitter washi, super simple and easy, and I think it's something that you all can enjoy. Oh my gosh, it looks so much better this way. What do you guys think? Do you vote for the yellow gold glitter or the red one? Tell me in the comments. 
All right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I really like keeping my monthly really simple because sometimes things come up and I need to write them in the boxes. So please let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you so, so much for watching this video, you guys. And please remember, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I make new videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.